So what shooting method does is uh, it reach, it it basically has a black box. So let's say RK4 or RK2 or whatever you want to have for the integration. Uh, this will have the differential equation in it. So this is a black box that you do not need to know what's happening in the black box. The black box is could be your simulator. I don't know if you use ANSYS or uh, I don't know if SOLIDWORKS has an engine, but uh, uh, ANSYS would be one of them, uh, what else? Uh, or just, just something which does the evaluations for you, you have no idea what's going inside. And it's true for many software packages, they don't tell you what is going inside because that's their uh, IP, right? They won't sell it to you. But if you have that to your, to your, you, your company or uh, the university has brought that, you have to be able to use it. So what this does, method does is basically it throws in an input and then out comes an output. So let's say that uh, we have the equation like this, just first order, and then given y x equals x1 is y1. So this is given. We need to compute y x equals x0 is what, right? So this thing here is unknown. This thing here is unknown. Uh, however, we do know what this is. This is given. Okay, so that is an output of the simulator. Okay, you cannot, you cannot feed that as an input. You only can get an output. So what we need to do is, we need to keep guessing. We need to put a value inside and something will come out. And once you have the right value for y0, the right thing will come out. So how do you keep guessing for y0? Uh, you could treat that box as a root finder. And your goal is to find the root of the equation such that y of x equals x0 is y0. So this is comes from, uh, usually the methods are, you can use a root finder. You can use newton raphson for example. You could use bisection and so on. Now in special cases, it actually will be a linear equation, in which case you don't need a root finder. Right, so I'll just take an example where there'll be a simple equation. We will not really use root finder, but that's what you'll have to do. Okay, so let's see how to how to make this guess uh, using shooting method. So I'll illustrate this with an example. And as I said, if this was not clear, hopefully when I do the example, it'll become clear. So here is the problem, a numerical problem. So consider the ODE dy dx equals f of x comma y equals minus xy. Okay, we are given y at x equals 0 0.5 is equal to 1. And we are asked to compute x equals 0. So we need to compute the value of y0, but we are not, we're given something at a different uh, x, which is further down. If the x was time, it was further down. So what we'll do is we'll specify, uh, use shooting method with, as I said, you could use any integrator just to keep a life sim simple, we use Euler's integration. And step size of 
delta x equals 0 0.1. Okay, so x is what? x0 plus i delta x. So here we have x0 is 0, delta x is 0 0.1. So if I put i equals 0, I'll get x equals 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0 0.5. i will go from 0 all the way to five, okay? On the other hand for y, I don't know the value of y zero, okay? I don't know the value here. All these are unknown, but here I know the value. It's basically one. So you see the problem? We know this value, but we do not know this value. This is where the the problem is and what Euler integration can do is given y0, it can integrate forward and give you the value at x equals 0 0.5. So what we'll do is we'll actually use the shooting method uh, in the following way. We're gonna take y0 as an unknown value. We'll propagate, use Euler's integration to find the value at 0 0.1, 0 0.2, all the way to 0 0.5, and hopefully that will give me a formula to solve for y0. Okay, so let's do that. Euler's integration. The formula is y i plus one is y i plus delta x f of x comma y. I'm just going to simplify this. For this particular problem, we have y i plus delta x and f of x y is given to us. It's right here. It's minus x y. So x i, this will be x i, y i, one minus delta x times x i. So let's, let's write it this way, one minus So this is basically telling how y will evolve as a function of xi, and we just use that. So let's start using the Euler's integration formula. So I'll copy this. Okay, so let's start with i equals zero. Here xi is, x zero is zero. And yi is, y zero is, well, that's an unknown. So let's just keep it as it is. So we have y1 equals one minus, and of course, delta x is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 times zero times y0. So we have y1 equals y0. Okay, next we put i equals one, xi equals x zero plus one times delta x, which is 0 0.1. So we have y two equals one minus delta x, which is 0 0.1 times xi, which is 0 0.1 times y1, so 1 minus 0 0.1 times 0 0.1, that's 0 0.01, so 1 minus 0 0.01 is 0 0.99. So this 
but we know that y1 is y0. So it's 0 0.99 y0. from one. So we've computed y2. Let's go to i, I equals two, x i equals x zero plus two delta x, so that comes out to be 0 0.2. So y3 equals one minus delta x 0 0.1, times x2, so that will be the x2, x1. So that would be 0 0.2 times y2. So that's 0 0.98 y2. But we know the value of, let's call this two. So here we have y0 and y2, there's a relationship. So we can use that relationship to get 0.98, y2 is 0.99, y0. From two. Okay, so I'll go a little faster now that I did it for two. Uh, I equals three will be y4 equals one minus 0 0.1 times 0 0.3 y2, which is 0 0.97, 0 0.98, 0 0.99, y0. And it's easy to see that this it's, it's kind of a pattern which you can easily make out. Uh, I equals four y phi one minus zero point one times zero point four y three y four point nine six uh, y four but then that will be in terms of y zero so point nine seven point nine eight point nine nine y zero comes out to be zero point nine seven zero two is that right? No, sorry. It's not that. This is wrong. Uh, it's 9035 Y0. Okay, so what's Y5? In fact, X5 is X0 plus I delta X is 0 plus 5 times 0 0.1, so it's 0 0.5. Okay, which, which means that y5 is nothing but y at x5, which is y at 0 0.5. And that is basically given to us. It is right here. So we're given this value. Right, we're given the value is one, so we can just sub that in. Nine zero three five y zero from here equals one. So we basically solve for y zero because it's going to be one divided by nine zero three five, and that is one point one zero six nine. So y zero. Uh, six eight actually, six eight. So that is my final answer. So see that we 